Researchers say it is crucial to determine why the local endangered killer whale population continues to decline. Well, some of them aren't reaching breeding age and some of them are just dying earlier in life. Marty Cardos with Northwest Fisheries Science Center says they decided to look at the orca's genetics and found the group is breeding with each other. That individuals who are more highly inbred die earlier. So that just means that, for example, females are you know, not living, the more highly inbred females aren't living very long. Um, and the same thing is occurring with males. The new study, released Monday, found the southern resident killer whales had the highest levels of inbreeding out of the samples collected from orcas in the North Pacific. Cardo says there is no easy fix. The challenge is that this is, you know, this is something that would be extremely difficult to address directly. You know, they interact with other killer whale populations really frequently, but they just don't breed with individuals from other populations, which would be a solution to problem. You know, for example, if we captured a, a killer whale from Alaska and tried to introduce it into the southern resident population, it would probably just turn around and go home. He says the best shot is improving the orca's environment. Now, there's a lot of environmental protection, a lot of efforts to improve the environment for southern resident killer whales, and I still think that's their, their best shot at recovery.